This is Weather AM on Canada's Weather Network. Great to have you along here for Tuesday, August the 20th. My name is Anne Moore Knight. Hurricane Ernesto has certainly left its mark in many parts uh, of North America. Thankfully, the core of the energy remains south of Newfoundland, although we certainly had some impressive rainfall totals and some peak wind gusts. But uh, let's get a recap now as we join Nate Coleman in St. John's. Well, Ernesto behaved pretty much as we anticipated. It did not make a landfall anywhere in the Avalon. It stayed well to the south, just like the track. And the biggest impact were really the big ocean swells. We saw the parade of ships coming in to take safety into the uh, St. John's Harbor for very good reason. As it passed by quickly, the biggest impact for here in St. John's were, were those overnight rains. It came down fast and it came down furious. So it was a very very good thing Ernesto was not moving slowly because it was rapid rainfall for a period. We saw some ponding on the roads, uh, but thankfully in the overnight hours and it moved on quickly. Getting a bit gusty here for the first time in St. John's because there wasn't much wind uh, as Ernesto passed to our south, uh, but just seeing a little bit now and uh, you know, you still want to be cautious around the shorelines, especially on the southern Avalon. All right, thanks so much, Nate. Uh, that southerly wind is doing a couple of things. Uh, one, it's bringing in a lot of moisture, uh, and that is going to be uh, helping the instability in the area in terms of thunderstorm potential. But I just wanted to show you, you know, 34 Humidex in St. John's, 30 in Halifax. I'll talk about the central prairies in just a moment, but we have Humidex readings approaching 40 degrees, 37, 38 in Regina. Uh, that's also an area of concern with severe storms. But Ernesto leaves, new system comes in. We have some rain showers and thunderstorms moving through. You can see uh, the core of that energy along the warm front. Uh, I would expect to see the risk of thunderstorms as well into portions of Nova Scotia. PEI, you could see some of that activity. This should all be non-severe in nature, though. That's the good news. Now, what we have from that same system, there's a trough here, and so it's spiraling some energy in eastern Ontario and southern Quebec. Otherwise, uh, Toronto down through Windsor should be a very nice day. Fairly bright skies, a little cooler than the norm, though, and you can see that with our uh, numbers here. 19 in Ottawa, chance of showers 20 in Toronto, 21 in Thunder Bay. This is where we have certainly some rain. We had some rain earlier this morning. You get another round in Halifax and the risk of thunderstorms. Now, this is where we could see along the border the risk of severe limit storms uh, in Orange here across Saskatchewan and Manitoba, maybe supercell development. And we have a risk of thunderstorms in across uh, southern areas of British Columbia. Uh, we certainly don't want the lightning, but the moisture is going to be very beneficial for so many reasons, but especially because of the fires. Look at this front, though, as it uh, moves into the east here. So we have uh, the potential for a few rounds of severe limit storms. And you can see even Thursday, it's quite active. And we have a trough uh, for you into uh, British Columbia. That's going to bring rain showers throughout the course of the day and maybe a thunderstorm. 19 in Vancouver, 18 in Victoria, 26 in Calgary. Look at this, 31 in Regina, feeling like 37 and 29 degrees in Winnipeg. We'll have more minutes. Stay with us.